हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आईटी परिवार सो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इंपोर्ट और इंस्टॉल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस एडीएमएस फाइल इनटू द ग्रुप पॉलिसी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ यू कैन इंपोर्ट हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस 2016 और माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आउटलुक एडीएमएस फाइल इनटू द ग्रुप पॉलिसी ओके so before going ahead i want to request you if you are a new user for my channel just to support me just to motivate me please subscribe to it parivar and click on the bell icon so that whenever i upload the new videos you will get the notification let me jump on my domain controller first let me show you something so i am going to this is my domain controller you can see the computer name is dc and domain name is itparivar.lan so in same way you have to go to the your domain controller and i am going to show you something here before doing any changes before importing any admx file so i have opened your group policy management let me create one group policy here as we are going to import the group policy uh, sorry admx file for the microsoft office so here i am going to name it this group policy like ms office testing group policy and let me say okay what i am going to do now is let me right click on this group policy and let me edit this let us go to the group policy here under user configuration expand this and you will see here administrative templates definitions admx files okay you can see let us expand this and you can see here there is no any template available for the microsoft office or microsoft office products so if you want to manage the microsoft office microsoft office outlook teams l1c or excel using the group policy you should have the administrative template under the administrative template or you can say here okay or here as well okay uh, let me expand the policies and then administrative template here you can also see under the computer configuration as well there is no any such uh, template available for the microsoft okay now let me close this and let me show you how we can import or install the uh, microsoft microsoft office template into this group policy on the domain controller let me minimize this and let me go to this page here i have already searched uh, to download the admx file this is you can see administrative template files admx admx for microsoft office okay what it in, in, in includes you can see this download includes the group policy administrative template files for like admx admx for microsoft 365 apps enterprise office tls 2024 this 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 2019 office 2016 okay and the customization tool for office 2016 as i have already downloaded it so in same way you have to download and just minimize this you need to go to the downloads folder where you downloaded the file okay you will find you will find this file here okay administrative template i have downloaded it for 64 bit version so it is saying like x64 as per your requirement you need to download this because both administrative template and uh, x, x64 and 60 uh, x86 files available here okay before you will download click to download it will be visible let me go back and let me click again here just to show you so a little bit site is slow or maybe my internet is slow okay so you can see here 
okay uh, like yes you can see x64 and x86 so once you click to download it will prompt you to like which one you need to download the x64 uh, this one okay so i hope you will download it and once you will download you need to right click on this and just open click to yes accept this continue it is asking like where you want to you know extract this file so you can select any location where you want to export it or where, where you want to extract so just select and uh, like on the desktop and say okay i already extracted it on the my desktop that is here admx and you can see here in this admx file they these are the admx or you can say administrative template that is for office access 16 admx excel lync office 16 onenet outlook ppt teams visio and word so whatever you want to manage using the group policy like powerpoint outlook ms teams okay or excel you can manage so i'll show you how you can manage that but let us first move this file to the domain controller okay so i have already moved this one on my domain controller here into the c drive let me open this c drive and here it is okay so see these are the all admx file for the outlook let me open one more explorer and on the domain controller go to the c drive windows and here you need to find the policy definition folder okay you can see here let me click here okay you can see there is one folder in us and other all are the admx file okay so in same way we have to copy this admx file to this folder to this policy definition folder c drive windows and policy definition okay let me copy this if you want to copy any specific file only add any specific admx file like that is for outlook if you want to manage only outlook you can copy this one only or teams so it's up to you if you want to manage each and every products using the group policy you can just select all and copy and paste here okay now as we have pasted here the admx file so you need to copy the language pack also language file also okay so these are the folders here you can see these all are related to, related to the language okay if you are not sure like which language pack which adml file you need to copy okay or from which folder you need to copy you can refer your existing uh folder which is under policy definition so you can see here in the policy definition folder this folder is like in us if you'll open this you can see all adml files are here okay so in same way you have to go to the admx file which you downloaded and open the in us means english united states open this and whatever the admx file you copied like if you only copy it for the outlook you need to copy this outlook uh, office uh, sorry 16 adml to this language folder or if you as we already copied all so we'll select all and copy then paste here okay so we have here the language as well as we all also copied the you know uh, admx file for office 2016 here you can see okay all we copied here let me close this now let me go to the group policy again so this group policy uh, window is already opened here so let me just refresh okay now let me go to this policy and let me edit again let me show you something definitely it should be different now let me expand these policies let me expand administrative template so you can see here now 
okay last time there was there were no any you know uh, microsoft office template here okay there was no any template right last time now you can see post importing or post copying the, those admx file or adml files to the definition folder these all microsoft templates are available okay like for ms access 2016 excel and microsoft office 2016 and microsoft office teams so now whatever you want to manage using group policy like teams office uh, outlook powerpoint so you can manage it from here only like if you want to manage like microsoft office teams for the users you can go to the microsoft teams you can see here few settings are here related to the uh, microsoft teams you can select restrict sign in teams to account in a specific tenants prevent microsoft teams from starting automatically after installation means whenever teams will be installed on the user machines it will not run automatic it should not automatically if you want you can enable this policy so let me just double click on this you can just enable apply okay in same way you can enable or manage other group policies as well okay related to the outlook or any other like outlook options what you want to like maximize groups disable naming roaming set, setting in outlook whatever the as per your requirement you can modify this group policies and you can link the group policy to the respective ou where you want to deploy the group policy or if you want to deploy for all the domain users you can just go to the your domain right click and select link an existing gpo and then click that select sorry select that uh, group policy which you created okay i'm not going to deploy this here as i just try to show you how we can and why we need to uh, import or install the admx or administrative template file on the into the group policy on on the domain controller so guys i hope now it's clear to you how you can uh, import and install and how you can manage the microsoft office products using the group policy so again i'll request you to if you enjoyed this video or if this video is helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any query or comments just leave your comment thanks for watching it Parivar. bye bye